Just like this budgie looks same colour, just about, isn't it, baby P? You're looking at mummy's plants, aren't you? You're not looking at the camera. You're looking at mummy's plants. Okay, we're going to go. We're going to go. We're going. We're going. We're going. Gone. Hello there. My name is Liz, a self-confessed succulent addict. Welcome to my channel, Growing Succulents. Knock, knock. Who's there? <laughs> Lisi went into Woolworths yesterday. Lisi went into Woolworths yesterday. Who? Red Edge! <laughs> I went grocery shopping yesterday. Like what most normal people do, you go to the plant section. And what do I find? <laughs> I'm hopeless, I know. I'm going to get things moving on by starting off this is uh, my most expensive plant from the last plant haul, my Ludicia Discolor or Jewel Orchid. And so that's about 11 days old and look at it. Look how big it's grown. I can't just move this plant here. I mean this flower, look at that. So I've got a new leaf and those leaves there has gone bigger and then there's a baby in the bottom there that's hiding so I'm gonna end up probably in a month's time I'll have two plants growing out of this so I've got pumice, cocoa peat and premium potting mix and I put some decomposed granite in the bottom just so it can have a bit of moisture from the bottom too it's like having a humidifier there you go so that way I'm trying to mimic the environment that it came in but no direct contact with water and anyway I am talking about plant care now we don't want to get into that this is a plant hole all these pots here that you see are mainly for my little ones in here this is my most lucky find for the week because they're not they're lucky in the sense that I didn't have to pay for them uh, so I'm really really nice person <laughs> <laughs> I just met one uh, of my YouTube followers uh, on a Cactus Society, uh, Succulent and Cactus Society meeting. And so I invited her over to come to the house. And she was like, oh my God, Liz, I'm your biggest, biggest, biggest fan. Oh, uh, thank you, Kanya. Kanya, her name is Kanya. And she has, she's just started her own YouTube channel. It's called Sweet Sweet Eye Succulent. So go check her out. So she's um, just filming with her phone and she was really, really shy. And the last couple of videos or two or three videos now probably that she's uploaded. I've encouraged her to just talk just because just before she was really shy. But anyway, I'm getting out of topic. So that's it. So I'm going to get on to this part. Okay, this is also my pothole. So this one, so I already put a hole on one and <laughs> that one, no hole yet. You've got a rock in there, so a rock fell in. Okay, so these ones I'm using for my succulents here. So they're cute and small. See, cute little pots as well. I only paid a couple of dollars for them, so it's like two dollars for these ones. These ones, I already put a hole as well. Okay, so these ones, they were only like a dollar each but it's so cute okay I already they came with no hole of course I drilled the hole and look at that it's just the shape I just like the uneven shape so I don't know if this is a coffee mug or something but would you believe I've got this from the green shed? It's recycling, so people donate, or instead of throwing it away, they would donate it. And I got, I think, about six or eight of them. So anyway, so and I got charged um, quite expensive. So I think ten dollars for the eight or something like that. So a bit over a dollar, but it doesn't matter. I like them, so it doesn't matter. But this one as well, I already put a hole, is a little goblet. It's a little goblet, look at that. And look, nice little hole. So that one is actually a bargain because it was 50 cents. And this cute little one, cute little one, as well, I got this from St. Vinny's for a dollar. And I've already put a hole. And this is to put, 
a tiny little plant like this. <laughs> so, what do you call? This is Crassula Arta. Okay, Plagmatoides. Okay, but it's going to grow big. So, um, big things come from small things, see? So, this one, so I'm going to put that, that's going to go into that pot. But anyway, I'll put those pots away so we can have some more room here. So that came from Kanya. Now, the start of the video, I showed you this plant, didn't I? So I'm going to get rid of this first because it's filling up this space here. So that way we can concentrate on these tiny ones here. So this one, I bought this yesterday. It's not even 24 hours old, this one, on my care. Well, not really. I haven't really cared for it yet. I just... Uh, put it away. And this one, the, I have two strains of Echeviria agavoides red edge. So I've got two strains of this so far. That means when I say two strains, I bought them in different times. So the first plant I got was I got two plants and out of that two plants, I have grown a couple of them. I put them in my growing pot or my mother plant pot. And the next strain I bought, I got four plants and they were bought at the same time, at the same place. So I would say they came from tissue culture, most likely, and they came from the same batch. So that's what I consider a strain. So that's another strain. So I got two strains so far. And each strain would put out different looks. So that's the reason why I bought this one. This is going to be my third strain of a Chaviria Agavoides Red Edge, otherwise known as lipstick. Okay, so this one, from my first strain, so this, from the two plants, you've seen the other ones probably on my video. Now, this one now is from my first strain of Echeveria agavoides, red edge, otherwise known as lipstick. And I actually plucked this one out on the first year that I had a baby from one of my mother plant. I pluck it out, or where it's a cutting, and it's now producing its own baby as well. So look at that. So there's a couple of babies in the bottom there, and another one up the top. I don't know if I miss. Probably there's more there, I don't know. There's only at least three, so there's three babies that I can see. So this one is just beautiful color. Look at the color, it's just so beautiful. So that's why I keep finding and looking for strains. And when the opportunity comes, it's the universe saying to me, go to Woolworths, go shopping yesterday. And this is also out of my way. So um, the closest um, Woolworths to me is about 4.2 kilometers. Ooh, you can pinpoint exactly where I am now. Um, and this one was about uh, 8 or 10 kilometers away. And But because there's an Asian shop there, so I buy Filipino food from my Asian uh, grocer. So that's it. So I'm going to put away this one now. So this one I am going, uh, this is actually $15 and I didn't mind paying $15 for it because they're still pretty cheap if you think about it because it's a big plant. It's already a big plant and it probably costs you about $20 just for the plant alone or $25 online seeing the prices. And um, so it comes in this pot here and this pot here. Look, there's a little crack on the pot. No, it doesn't. But anyway, so this pot as well, it's a cute little pot. So for $15, that's a bargain. Goodbye, pretty one. But I'm going to put you in the front here so I can gaze at you. Take a peek. Now, okay. So this is from my yesterday, actually. So every Friday... I go buy some succulents because if I don't buy some succulents, then my life would be boring. <laughs> I stopped smoking about four, six years ago. I stopped smoking. And ever since, whatever money I used to spend on cigarettes, I buy succulents. So there you go. So you find out my secret now. So instead of buying cigarettes, 
uh, from one addiction to another addiction, and I think this is a much better addiction than cigarettes. And I haven't touched a single cigarette since then. So probably if I don't buy succulents, I will start smoking again. Who knows? But anyway, this one is from a week ago now. So it's Saturday, so a week ago. So yesterday I didn't go shopping for plants. Instead, I went grocery shopping, and still I still managed to find a succulent how about that anyway so this one now is called an echeveria hybrid i don't know what it's called but it's freely and it's beautiful and it's got all the chiseling uh so once it's a hybrid you can't really pinpoint the identification or because people always say oh that looks like this it can only look like that or this or that but you can't be certain for sure that it is what it is. So say for example, I'll call this Echeveria um, undulata, because it's undulating. But whether, is there an Echeveria undulata? I'm sure there's none. And you can't really say that it's undulata just because it's undulating. The leaves are sort of wavy, wavy, wavy. Um, so I don't like putting names on plants that doesn't have any name. Oh, this one, by, by the way, $9. Is that eight? Yep, $9. So I'll put that away now. So that's a good buy for that price. And this one is a Chavaria White Rose. This is my third Echeveria White Rose. So I have a big plant and another plant. Sorry. And then now I bought recently another one. This is actually fourth. This is my fourth Echeveria white rose and this one is sort of different the white the first white rose I have was sort of the leaves were sort of longer and a friend of mine who's sort of an expert on succulents as well she said oh that's a bit unusual for a white rose I think that's an alpine rose because there is an alpine rose and but the label says white rose so I'll take it as white rose and they do look the same the white rose and alpine rose i get confused as well but then anyway that's what the label come at come as okay so if it's white because this is green right now <laughs> so i don't know it might even be an alpine rose i don't know but the label stays with the plant i always uh, make sure that i have the label that came with it now this one so i'm Clearing. I'm making headway now. So this is a Pachypodium gie or one of those Madagascar, Madagascan palm. They grow quite big, this one. This is actually my third plant now. I got a couple around as well. That palmeri. So Pachypodium palmeri is the other one and the other one is Rosulatum or something like that. So this one is, okay, that's the name. And, oh yeah, you saw the price, $12.23 from my local nursery. There you go. But I love them. They don't like the frost. So winter, I have to bring them inside or else they're going to die. And I've got an upstairs room where they stay. And so now I have three and I have to stop because I don't really want to put them in big pots as well because I'm afraid if I do put them in big pots, they're just going to grow really, really fast. So if the condition's right... So I probably take this out. That's why I can't take my other ones out because um, I'm afraid I'm going to kill them. So now I have three to play with. The two other ones I'm going to leave inside. But this one for spring, we still got a month of spring left. And also uh, summer and autumn. So I'll say about six months. I can grow this in six months really really fast outside so i'm actually going to put this in a big pot and see how fast it grows here in the weather that we have here in canberra australia and this one it says i'm a succulent pick me and i'm so cute <laughs> i think 829 i think this one is a baby hawothia it's one of those miniature hawothia or are you an aloe I don't know, but I think this is a Hawothia. And whether it's a Hawothia or uh, an aloe, it doesn't matter. But it's cute. It's miniature. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, look. Okay. So I'll put you away now. You can go away now. Go away, go away, go away now. Now this one, 
I always resisted, well, when I first started uh, buying succulents, or yeah, buying succulents or growing succulents, Echeveria Golden Glow are one of those plants that I bought for my first couple of batch uh, when I was like frantically buying everything I could find at my local hardware store by the way I did not used to go to nurseries I just stick to my local hardware store Bunnings I just stick to Bunnings and one of the plants I bought the first ones was Golden Glow and this got exposed to the frost so it was growing big and beautiful in uh, I got it in uh, summer and autumn and then winter it went kaput the frost killed it and then the following year I bought another one and the frost killed it again so I stopped buying golden glow I said I've given it a couple of times I've tried it a couple of times but in saying that the second one that I bought actually grew again it recovered from winter from a teeny weeny baby plant like sort of that big there it started growing again so now it's somewhere in my garden it's a much bigger plant but it's in a protected area out in the shelves under there so uh, but then so now I decided that when I saw this and the baby popping out everywhere I couldn't help it <laughs> how can you resist that so I went and bought one again okay so but for nine dollars I can't complain really so but then now I just have to let that grow quite big because uh, right now is their growing season they will grow phenomenally really fast anyway so I'll put that away now and you have seen on my videos a Chaviria afterglow this one is not a cheap one this is twenty dollars and it's got battle scars so look because it's grown so big it sort of split see the leaves I don't know maybe it got manhandled uh, somewhere but even in the bottom so they're really fragile even that look there's another uh, slit over there but I don't know if you can see that but anyway this is a Echeveria Afterglow but it's only labeled Echeveria Mix so there's no name and it's $20 this time this one now I'm gonna put this in my covered area and if I run out of space in my covered <laughs> um, under covers so or overhead covering it's still outside so they can take up to minus four but anything colder than that then they do suffer and they do come back but then it takes a whole season for them to look pretty again and then they get hit by the frost again so I just don't want to put my plants through that punishing regimen anymore so this one is going to be pampered from my friend Kanya my new friend Kanya I love you she is so generous oh my goodness so these three pots this is Krasula and the label she even got look $15 <laughs> she paid for this plant and she said 28th of the 7th 2020 is when she bought it so she paid $15 so actually I said I feel really bad and then she said no it's already a baby so this is a baby or maybe she's lying to me maybe she bought two but anyway so she gave me so much plants that now I'm in indebted to her that I uh, now I'm gonna have to give her a few of my variegated my variegated plants anyway so yay <laughs> she's so happy okay but I said just give me some time to grow them first because they're still babies and I haven't even taken the cuttings out of my variegated expensive sort of expensive plants so this one is what are you called this is Crasula Namaquensis Namaquensis so I'll put the name anyway so and then came with a pretty pot and then I said should I pull out the plant I just want to take a cutting or I didn't even want a cutting she said take the whole plant take the whole plant so very generous girl but I think uh, don't be too generous I said to her because people are gonna abuse you okay so people are gonna come especially now if I say oh I got some free plants from Kanya please 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 have a heart don't uh, unless you want to swap plants with her that's that's fine but don't take advantage of people just because now i feel really bad that if i mention her name here 
you're gonna contact her on her YouTube page or Instagram page and then you're gonna start harassing her about giving you some free plants there is such a thing as karma in the world okay grandma list now so this is grandmother list i got 12 grandchildren by the way so grandma list is talking to you saying there is a thing called karma whatever you do to people is gonna come back to you 10 times 10 times good and 10 times bad if you do good things it will come back 10 times good and if you do bad things it will come back 10 times bad so I always do good things so I always try and do good things good thoughts good things and if you haven't got good things to say to people don't say anything at all okay this is called Crassula elegance oh my god she paid 25 for this but anyway this is already a cutting I've seen her mother plan what's the date July 2020 and uh, her mother plant is just gorgeous. So I hope I took a video or a photo. Anyway, so $25 for Chiveria Elegance. And then also the pot. She gave me the pot. And I said, do you want your pot back? She said, no, no, no. It's my present for you. So I'm going to leave it to uh, the soil and the pot. And I'm going to have a section in my garden. I'm going to call it uh, Kanya's Corner. Okay, I'll put that there and also this one. Oh, this is on my plant wish list. This is Crassula Barclay. I don't know how you say that, but Barclay. Oh, okay, and these are so cute. Oh, it's so cute. Look at that. Okay, I could eat it. But anyway, I've been after one for a while and I thought I'm going to go. I never bought plants online, so I thought I'm going to go buy some plants online and this is on the list but then now I don't have to buy it anymore because I already got one thank you again Kanya you are so generous girl I'm sure the universe is gonna bless you with wonderful things you are such okay I dropped something okay now this one now is the different cuttings that she gave me this one oh I forgot to take a picture of this this is a cactus and this cactus is called I was looking online uh, Echinopsis oh, seminudus. It's seminudus. It's a nude cactus. Okay, seminudus. And the mother plant is. It belonged to her mum, and her mum bought it like 25 years ago or something like that. And the plant, I kid you not, is about this round. It's about I don't know seven or eight inches tall, but it's like nice and fat, and it sort of spirals ar around like that. Those those. Uh, I don't know the ribs see how it's you can see it's sort of spiraling and she only had one baby she said this is the only baby that she's seen on it see how it's sort of spiral around oh my lord that is that's I, I'm just so excited about this plant and this plant for now for now I'm gonna put it in this little thing here and then right in my window sill there so every time I come out of the back door I will see it on my right hand side next to my purple cactus what I'm gonna put in this part is this I already got a cremnocidum little gem variegated variegated plant see oh it's so beautiful look at that and I said to her no I already got uh she said can we have you got creme to see them little gem I said yeah I've got a variegated I already got both variegated and ordinary one she said no no have this one have this one so I said well okay I suppose I'm not gonna say no okay so hang on there's a little hair in there um that one there look it's so cute the next one is a crassula clavata look how pretty red it's pretty red beautiful beautiful plant this was also in my wish list and they're quite expensive so you get a cutting for $25 I think <laughs> that's what they're selling it for so I think it might be a little bit bigger than this but still uh, $25 for a plant now this one this pot doesn't have any holes so I have to drill a hole in that one but what I'm gonna put in this one is this cotyledon cotyledon uh, Kitten's paws or tomentosa. This one, you have to keep them dry before, when, when you take cuttings from a uh, cotyledon, so when you take cuttings, they can be really prone to root rot. But in saying that, 
they do grow quite easily from a leaf so if you get say for example just that one leaf there and you just let it dry up and let it sit there eventually it will take root and pop out babies it's hairy and it's nice and soft and fluffy oh you just want to and look at those cute tips oh so gorgeous it's a gorgeous plant so i don't know if it will go red or if it doesn't it can stay like that pretty white fluffy cottony powdery it's not powdery it's just fluffy it's got wool it's like <laughs> it's got its jumper on its winter clothes on crassula tormentosa that's all it's called yeah because there's a little fluff okay so and it's cute so it grows into like a cluster and then you just pluck out and they're so pretty it's like the the little pointy pointy thing it's just gorgeous gorgeous plant as well so i've got an ordinary one with no hairiness or actually a green one and this one is all fluffy with little hairs look so cute this is a vix plant or plectranthos plectranthos tangle huts okay and it's got a minty minty vix smell it's like vix vapor rub that you put on your chest or your nose when you get a cold now this one is gonna go into a bigger pot but for now I think, yeah, I will put it in this pot for now, but then I'm sure it's not going to take long before that will fill it up. So in the, they're a fast grower, so I have to consider the pot that I'm going to put them in. So maybe just put a temporary pot first and see how fast it grows. And then that way saves me repotting and, ooh, I drop a leaf, I drop a leaf. Oh, there you go. That leaf there okay that tiny little leaf they will grow that will have a new baby so it almost grows like a weed this one but anyway i haven't got a tangled heart and i need a tangled heart there you go this one is it's a echeveria bella variegated so i don't know if it's the same with a mini bell i've got a mini bell and she said no it's not a mini bell it's bella echeveria bella varigara so Again, thank you, Kanya. You're so generous. Oh, my God. And I said, no, 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 it's okay. She said, no, 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 have one, have one. So she just took a cutting. Now, this one is a Crassula uh, Ernestii. This is also a beautiful plant. Oh, my goodness. So gorgeous. She's got a big plant. And now you can see that the roots are coming out. So it's a fast grower. See? And then that one there is like a flower. But then the flower, it flowered so this bit here but you can see roots as well can you see the roots there tiny little root sticking out yep okay so i should put this one on a bigger pot because they will grow quite fast as well i'm sure i haven't got a hole yet on that one and so this next one is called a chrysone oh, it's a really really long name it's really hard to pronounce as well uh, Benencortianum. Ben oh, it's Acroison Benencortianum. Okay, uh, this is a cute, cute, cute. Look how cute that is, and it forms into like a cluster, and it's all like fluffy, hairy, um, and it sort of feels sticky. It's got a sticky feel to it because of I don't know those little hairy stuff. It's so cute oh my goodness now this plant hang on i'm hitting my uh tray now this plant i didn't even know that i have the plant i have the plant but it doesn't look like that so when she gave this to me I said, oh, this kind of looks different from my little acroison acroison okay i'm gonna show you my big plant this is my acroison benincorthianum okay so how is it possible that from this you're going to end up with that ah look at that it even pops out on the screen look at that so because this is grown out in the sun and this <laughs> was tucked in underneath and it is a fast grower i bought this one in a small teeny weeny pot and 
it's been sitting under the shelves there because I thought, because I bought it in winter of all times to buy a succulent, I bought it in winter and then I thought, I don't, um, I wasn't really sure how to treat this one because at first I thought it was an Ionium. And I did saw it online, it says a Croissant, but I thought, but I never saw them like this. It only looks like this. So when I got them, it was like, that much, that much there, that plant there, this, it was that much in a tiny little pot and I got it from uh, Gold Creek Nursery uh, close to where we live and anyway so anyway so I bought it from there and um, it was only tiny, I think how much was it, it was quite expensive but never mind so I thought yep okay I'll just wing it and I didn't think it would look like that look how beautiful that is <gasps> And they would cluster up and oh my god and then it really feels sticky it feels sort of sticky but it was like a nice sticky oh my goodness okay the beautiful beautiful, beautiful plant banana uh, acroison banana corthianum corthianum so it's a bethen b then corthianum oh I think it's b then corthianum I don't know gymnocalicium and the Setsii SSP Multiproliferum. Okay, you're not gonna believe. I paid three dollars for this originally. I have a plant, I have one, but I paid three dollars for this before. This is four years ago, and that's how big it was. And I paid three dollars. Three dollars. <laughs> three dollars. <laughs> and how much did I pay for this one? This is twelve thirty nine. Twelve dollars forty, and. It is called Mamillaria thimble cactus or um, gracilis. Mamillaria gracilis frangilis. Okay, oh my goodness, all these names. And it only came with that name. And then so after I bought it, I thought I killed mine, but I did not. So from, I'm going to show you what it looks like after, for almost five years, almost five years, because this is the first ones I bought when I started buying cactus, I mean plants, succulents. Now I've got some that I can sell for $3 each. <laughs> no, I won't. I'm just gonna grow them. More, get them thicker and thicker. <laughs> Gymnocalicium baldianum, I'm really obsessed with my, it's called a dwarf chin cactus. So Gymnocalicium baldianum because it says dwarf chin cactus and it's about to flower. So I have, I think I have another one of this, not too sure, but then it, the other one just says Gymnocalicium, so I don't know if they're the same plant, but anyway, this is Melocactus, I got it, okay, that one, look at the flower, and it, the gorgeous flower, oh, when they do flower, it would be spectacular in a big bowl, just all of them, and okay, I'll put that away, and I'm looking at my bowl that is still empty that I'm planning to put all these ones, the Dwarf's Turk's Cap. Melocactus matansanus. This will have its own separate pot. So it says, uh, this is an unusual genus of cacti that stop growing when mature and form a cephalium, which is a crown on top of the plant where flowers are formed. See, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? <gasps> okay, so I can't wait. It's going to take a while, I think, for the cephalium to grow. But, oh, I do love, love, love my dwarf Turk's cap. Next one is, I only got this one because of the name. It says, Mamillaria bombicina, the bridal bolt. No, it's not. It's because of the flower. I love the flower and I like the little, the, the hook, the hook, the hook, is the hook uh, that sort of goes inwards. It's like a fish hook, isn't it? Like, okay, speaking of hooks, uh, cactus the thorns or the spikes of the cactus is really, really bad because I was cleaning my garden a few weeks ago and I brushed past the, um, the fruiting one. Okay, it'll come to me. Anyway, the big fruiting cactus, I can't think of a name. I still got some freezer. I still got some fruit in the freezer thing. I forgot now. Uh, Peruvian, oh, prickly pear, that, that's it. So prickly pear cactus, those paddle pop things that you can actually, you can actually eat them, but don't eat them, it's gonna uh, end up with a lot of thorns in your mouth, and it's bad. Bad news is, see that little scar there? 
that's one of the thorns that got embedded in there and I could not get it out and I just I, I thought I'd scratch it or something but then now I think it's forming a keloid so watch out for the cactus so that's why <laughs> any bent hooks like that I think I like but oh, just don't have to run into it and also the flower I, I really like the flower the shape and form but I'll put it this way I like of all plants now this one is one of my favorite plant the splitting plant I used to call it before when I first got it so on my old videos I showed one of these splitting ones and I don't know what to call it because she didn't know what to call it the lady I bought it from and it's a peperomia so this one Specifically, it's called Peperomia Asperula. Peperomia Asperula. Oh, it's got a name at the front. So it's $8.95 for this one. And I've got a few. So I've got uh, something roll, whatever, roll doll. <laughs> and another one uh, somewhere. And so I really love them. I love them. And of course, the there's a purple one. Yeah, but anyway. So again, um... Uh, it's getting bad, isn't it? You buy one plant and then you ended up buying, oh yeah, I need another species and another variety and you end up with um, all these plants. But then anyway, one day I'm going to sell them off anyway. So grow them first and then sell them. Now, next one is the cutest. This is second last. Is it the second last? Yeah, it is the second last. This second last one is called Kalankoi. Areophila snow white panda plant. Oh, I've got a funny story about this. I showed this to my mom and dad in law. So we went for a visit, and then the hobby suggested, Oh, you want to go past Dixon Nursery? And I said, Yep, okay. So you don't have to twist my arm. I said, So straight away. So, long story short, uh, we went for a visit for the in laws. So I showed, I always show mom and dad, especially mom, my plant hole. And Anyway, when dad saw this one, he just rushed into the garden, mom's garden, and pulled one of those lamps ear. Uh, it's a plant that's got soft, fluffy leaves. So he pulled off one of these and he said, that's exactly the same plant. And I said, dad, no, no, it's not that. It's not. He said, no, 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 it's the same plant. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. It's the same plant. Feel that. Feel that. I said, yes, Dad. I got them in the garden. It's okay, Dad. It's okay. But he was like, really, really, you should return that and get your money back. <laughs> so, it's the same plant. And if you want more, I can give you a whole lot more. I got a whole garden full of them. And I said, yep, yep, yep. It's okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for your generosity. But... Um, uh, and mom in the background was saying, stop it, Walter, stop it, stop it, Walter. You know, leave <laughs> so I thought I was really cute. Anyway, so I think I like to show mom my plant hole just to torment dad because he kept saying to me, you should really stop buying succulents. Stop buying succulents, Liz. You got plenty. What are you going to do with them? You know, and then I said, well, that's my retirement fund, dad. He's like, no, 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 no. Don't worry about them. Why do you, would you, he doesn't want me spending time in the garden, I think, because he just wants me to go and visit them every day. I think that's what it is. But anyway, they do love me very much and they do spoil me. And I love them to bits. Okay, I like saying that word. Okay, so now, okay, if this goes for an hour, it doesn't matter. You're going to enjoy it because, uh, the, uh, by the way, this one is, they're not frost hardy. It says, position, full sun or partial shade, great in garden, borders, rockeries or pots, indoors only in sunny position. I'm just looking for anything that would say, uh, fertilizers high in nitrogen can reduce flowering period. We're not here for the flower, we're after the leaves, aren't we? So anyway, so I don't know if it will grow in the garden. I'm really uh, wary with my Kalankoes because they're not really all that frost hardy, although I'm finding some that I'm growing, so I'll buy one plant and then I will grow it and then I will take cuttings off it and propagate it and then look at my hands, propagate it and then the following year I will torture it, put it out in the frost because it's only the frost, the issue with us is just the frost but sun, if you have sun, sun, in, sun in the tropics so probably maybe the issue with you will be too much water but then again, I'm sure if you got free draining soil, they will be growing good. 
Now, another issue I'm going to talk about is, okay, people kept thinking, where do you get all this money from this? Well, it's my cigarette money for one, and also we have a lot of friends. And our friends, they can't give us anything, so they keep giving me some Bunnings voucher <laughs> or plant voucher. <laughs> So, which I don't mind. So, that's how I'm able to buy all these plants. Now, I'll put this away and I'm going to show you, last but not least, da -da, da -da, da -da, I'm hiding again because this is my lucky find for the week. This is one of those tangled, they plaited it. It's all sort of plaited like that, you see them. And I went into, 10 days ago, I went into Bunnings or my local hardware store and hang on, can you see me? Okay. So I went into Bunnings and this thing here, I got my legs crossed, I'm going to straighten it out. And this, I was looking for succulents, I wasn't really looking for succulents, I was looking for pots. And they're out of stock on the terracotta pots, the small terracotta pots. And so I went to just about every single... Uh, Bunning store because that's where I could find them the cheapest. There are some places for selling them But then you have to pay a bit more. It's almost double the price So I thought no, I'll wait for Bunning. So I went in there and I don't have any intentions of buying any plants But then this one was actually tucked in just down in the bottom uh, Roots sticking out of the air and they're all like plaited and there's a few of them that's already yellow and dead which actually I chopped up off and now it's growing so hopefully it will take root. They actually root up quite easily but then this one as well, see, there's still another yellowing. So I think they come in 21, uh, it's got something to do with Lucky or something like this. But this one now, I paid for two dollars, two dollars. This is, why am I screaming? I get so excited, I know. But this is two dollars for that whole thing but I did not get it for two dollars. I just went up to the manager and I said, excuse me, Mr. Manager. This one is sitting uh, in the bottom there. No pots, no nothing. Just actually a plastic, flimsy plastic pot, like one of those orchid plastic pot that they put them in and uh, barely have any soil in it and all the roots are exposed. And then I think it might, uh, the pot might have been broken. And so that one, they just uh, chuck it underneath the shelves. And so I asked, oh, he gave it to me for $2 because he said, it looks pretty ratty, isn't it? I said, um, most of them are, okay, really sort of dry up as well. But then I said, no, nah, this is my lucky plant hole. So I thought, I'll just put this in this pretty pot for now and look at the roots. Okay, don't, hang on, it's gonna drip, 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 okay. So all the roots here, I think they're best planted. Ooh, new roots. Woohoo. Okay, there's new roots growing from it, but it's not going to last very long. I'm sure if you leave them in water for a long time, and there's already some of them that's sort of rotting as well. Oh, another new roots. So anyway, so this is my lucky plant hole for the week. Okay, 10 days. That's good enough. Anyway, so thank you very much. I know this is a long video and I hope you enjoyed it. And you get to see all these different plants that you're going to add on your wish list. Have a lovely, beautiful day, even though it's raining here in Australia, Canberra. It's still good because we can enjoy all these plants. Now, I'm just going to spend my time putting them away. And, yep, I'm doing a potting video. This time I'm doing... Okay, just a surprise. Anyway, thank you guys, and you have a lovely weekend. Thank you. Sa mga kababayan ko Pilipino, salamat po sa pagpanood nyo. O ayan, nakikita nyo na, mag-Tagalog tayo. Medyo baloktot lang yung dila ko minsan, pero okay. Why am I screaming? Ayan, sana yun na kasi, na sige lang puro English. Ang kausap ko, yung asawa ko, puro kami English ng English. Mga anak ko, hindi marunong mag-Tagalog. Kaya... Kausap ko puro English. Yung mga kamag-anak ko, ang dami na namin dito. So, pag dinadala ko sila, ayan, nakakapag-usap kami. Na, nakakapagsalita ako ng Tagalog. Pero sa kayong kaibigan ko, may mga kaibigan akong Tagalog din. At ah, Tagalog, I mean, Pilipino. Pilipino. Na, ayan, magtatagalog kami. Magbinisaya pa. Nung sa, magbinisaya pa. Uh, you know, minsan magbinisaya pa mi. So, anyway, uh, I'm Ilonga, by the way. So, I am rattling on again. Thank you so much for watching. And have a lovely, safe weekend. Take care. Bye.